Woohoo! Hey, everybody. <laughs> uh, welcome to what month are we? December. Somehow it is December 2022, which is crazy. Uh, we got a little holiday cheer behind us today. Um, thanks for joining us, as always. Uh, before we dive in, we're going to do a little bit of a little story time uh, in order to introduce Jeremy here. Uh, last month, you all had the pleasure of meeting Jenny Ray, who is this fella's better half. Is that fair to say? Uh, I don't think better is a strong enough word. <laughs> <laughs> so I really should have, I kind of did Jenny a disservice by not doing story time last month, but we're going to, we're going to do it this month. Um, Jenny came to us actually via Jeremy, even though Jenny worked for us before Jeremy. Um, in the early days of Escapod, we started the company, obviously Chris and I were avid mountain bikers. And so one of our first big events that we went to was the Sea Otter Classic. It's a mountain bike festival. Um, they actually do, it's a bike festival and race and giant industry trade show. Uh, and we were there with, uh, an original topo. We had one on display and two professional mountain bike racers, Sid and Mackie Franklin, uh, we're filming a little walk around. I'm getting this right, right? Absolutely. Okay. Not blowing it. Okay. So they did this little walk around and then they like highlighted Escapod for a minute. They're showing all the new cool bike stuff. And I used to race Enduro um, with Sid and Chris used to race against Mackie. We both always lost to them because they are very fast. Um, but they're great human beings. And they showed Escapod and uh, talked about the fact that we were in Utah. And Jeremy and Jenny saw this YouTube video that they posted. And Jeremy's like, you got to go talk to these guys and see if you can get a job. So Jenny came pounding down the door at We Little Escapod when we were in Wanship. We had, I think, three manufacturing employees at that time. Um, Chris Eckel was doing all things operations. And we just weren't ready for somebody with Jenny's skill set. We just, we didn't need her, everything that she brings to the table at that point in time. We were just, whoa little teeny company. Um, but things changed quickly. Um, and in was it six to eight months or so after that, just about, um, we reached back out or did she come back? I saw that you had grown in the park city record. And I said, honey, it's time to send an email. Ah! And she talked to Chris Eckel, who basically said funny, cause you were about to get the email you just sent me. Look at that. So we reached back out slash they reached out, got back in touch cause we were growing. And Jenny became the first non-production hire that Escapod made. So she has been with us since February of 2020. Um, she's been absolutely instrumental to our growth. And then thanks to Jenny, she brought us Jeremy a year and a half or so after that. Um, Jeremy's background is in the hospitality industry, um, in the restaurant space. He's managed a bunch of restaurants. Um, and really understands that customer facing role, interacting with people, creating a really great experience. And that's something, you know, the, on the trailer side of the company, um, we are out to produce the best damn camper known to man. Um, and on this side of the company, the customer facing end, uh, our dealership right here in our launch pad, we are really focused on delivering the best damn experience known to man. Um, so that's where Jeremy comes in and, and takes the reins and he's one of the faces that you'll see when you come to pick up your trailer here at the launch pad or if you want to just come in and shop random camping merch or escapod merch, he'll be here to greet you along with his team. Um, so now I'm going to pass the mic. Sounds great. To Jeremy and he can tell you a little bit about his day to day here. So uh, we're going to talk about the launch pad as a whole real quick. Uh, we're kind of a multifaceted facility here. Obviously, we do the customer handoffs, so if you're going to come and pick up your trailer, you'll be coming here, you'll be talking to me or someone on my team, and uh, we also handle the rentals here as well, and so if you rent a trailer, this is the spot that you'll come to, um, you'll get an overall same experience. We'll talk about everything on the Escapod trailer, we'll talk about the functionality of it, we'll answer any questions that anybody has, and then we'll obviously hook you up uh, safely and make sure that you are comfortable towing and getting out of here and all the operations of what goes on inside and outside of an Escapod. Um, 
That's kind of the nutshell of what we do here. We have a wonderful section of merchandise which has expanded uh, not only from things that you can wear uh, and things that you can drink, but we've gone a little more utilitarian. We've got guidebooks and maps for Moab and some of the local areas that are popular. And we've recently expanded to uh, have some towing merchandise here as well. So if there's any towing needs that you have, we'll be able to cover those so that you can feel confident coming here. And uh, no matter what situation you have, if your vehicle can tow an escapod, we can get you hooked up to it and safely out on the road, uh, which is kind of nice. Talk about some of the daily tasks here. Uh, so obviously there's a whole lot of organization and coordination. Um, we have to clean your trailer as part of the Best Dam experience and the Best Dam camper known to man is that they're going to come to you clean and they're going to come to you in pristine condition. And that's what part of my team does here. We put a lot of pride and effort into making sure that your experience is pretty much 110% and seamless from when you start interacting with Escapod until obviously when you leave the facility here. Um, we coordinate everything. We handle the shipping of trailers. We handle the incoming of trailers from manufacturing and coordinate for whatever is convenient for your schedule to come down and pick it up. And uh, we definitely like to give the information and answer all the questions that anybody has. A uh, big part of my job and one of the parts I particularly enjoy. Um, as Jen said, I have a lot of customer facing experience and uh, just being around people is something that I really like and it's wonderful to kind of put people at ease and answer any questions or anything that they have. Um, and that's pretty much what we do here. We have a rental fleet here as we talked about. We're switching this year to all Topo 2s. Uh, so you're gonna get the current experience uh, when you come. It's a great program for you to try before you buy. So if anybody's interested in an Escapod, uh, in our market, in our industry, it's not very common that you can come in and actually get an in-depth use of this. And not only is it a great way to say, hey, yes or no, this is for us, but it's a great barometer for what choices you're going to make. There's a lot of features that can be added on to an Escapod, and this is a really great barometer for, hey, is this something we want to use? Or, you know, if it's not on the rental, it's also a great way to say, you know what, I think that where we live, the air conditioner is going to be a wonderful choice or the heater is definitely uh, something that obviously included in Topo 2 is going to be beneficial to us. Uh, and so it's a great way for that. Um, also, like I said, we have an extensive amount of merchandise that's been expanding. Uh, if you go onto our website, you can find our shop and everything is available to be shipped out uh, via an online order as well. So if that's something you're interested in, please either contact us or find us on the website and we'd be more than happy to get those things in your hands. Uh, I think that kind of sums it up on what we do here on a daily basis. Um, and then it looks like... Oops. Sorry. We're Facebook good. fell down. Facebook. <laughs> We're back, Facebook. There you go. <laughs> and I think that's going to lead us into the next section where Jen is going to talk about our lifestyle packages that we've recently added. Ooh, yeah, this is a good segue, actually. Um, because this is kind of one of those areas where we bridge the trailer manufacturing side and what's happening over here at the launch pad. Um, one small note on things that happen here. So Escapod Sales and Rentals is licensed as a dealer and is actually a separate business entity from Escapod Trailers, which is our manufacturing arm. Um, this has allowed us to do a few things. One, issue temporary tags when you pick up your trailer. So you have 45 days to make your way back home if you wanna take a road trip and and head south to some of the impressive sites down in southern Utah or anywhere else along the way home. Um, and it also has allowed us to partner with uh, banks to offer indirect lending for a true RV loan. So not just a personal loan that might have a five-year term, but an RV loan that you could take out a loan for 15 years, keep monthly payments manageable, and really pay for this asset over time. Um, so there's a lot of administration and paperwork and details mm -hmm. that boggle most minds that Jeremy has taken on with his team to keep everything organized and buttoned up and make it as convenient as possible for you guys to not only pick up your trailer, but to own it um, over the life of, of your trailer. Um, so the lifestyle packages, this is something that we've, we've had a lot of requests for certain things over time um, and something that we've observed in uh, the rental trailer experience that when we send somebody out the door with their rental trailer, it has everything that you need to go camping. Your dishes are in there, pots and pans, utensils, your bed is made, you have pillows and blankets, you have camp chairs, 
everything to make your experience once you're at camp really comfortable. Um, there are so many choices out there and we have a you know specific size trailer where certain things fit better than others and through our experience we know what fits in the galley, what works really well for how this trailer was designed to be used. So we've put together a few packages that are really plug and play. So Jeremy's team uh, will make sure that if this is a brand new trailer that you're picking up and you've added on some of these lifestyle packages, um, the galley package, for example, comes with a griddle that covers um, both burners so you can have a nice flat skillet to cook up a whole bunch of bacon at once. Um, you have your collapsible uh, pot and pan set, nice stuff from GSI that really gives you the ability to still cook really well, but still have a compact cooking unit that doesn't take up too much space in the storage in the top O2. Um, you've got silverware, your utensil organizer, spatulas, all sorts of stuff. Um, so that's your galley package. The bedding package comes with queen size sheets, two pillows, as well as a rumple blanket. Um, we've been using the two person original puffy rumple for a long time. It's that nice sleeping bag material that cleans really well. It's like really easy to wash these. So it just works really well for this type of camper trailer where you're really designed to be optimized, optimizing the living towards outside, but you obviously still want warm bedding inside. And the rumple has been a really great solve for that. Um, we also have a camp lounge that comes with a love seat camping chair. So it's a two person camping chair, as well as um, a table from Dometic. It's got a bamboo flat surface. It's perfect because it folds in half. So it's still pretty compact and packs away pretty easily, but does give you a nice flat surface. These are little things like when you're camping and you use the slatted tables and you're trying to play cards, you can't play cards on a slatted table and then your food gets in the cracks and your fork falls through, whatever. So really like having that flat surface on the Dometic table. Um, that also comes with a nice bench. The bench has been really nice when you're wanting a little bit more supportive and upright seating position when you're actually eating at that table. Um, and then a couple other things that we've heard over and over, where's the bathroom? So we finally have what we call our sanitation station. Um, this comes with a luggable loo. It's your five gallon bucket with a toilet seat on top, as well as disposable bags that you can use and a pop-up tent. So that pop-up tent can be used for the toilet, can also be used to use the shower on the top O2. Um, that's a really great option that I feel like is something people are constantly asking about. And then we also have a galley enclosure. This is from Kelty. Um, it's called the back roads shelter and it just goes up and over the rear hatch and then the side walls drop down along the side. So if you are trying to cook in inclement weather, this is an option to just help keep you a little more protected from the elements so you can truly enjoy not only your trailer in any condition, but all of the features and functionality of your trailer in any condition. Um, we do have a holiday promo going for the next 10 days till the 31st. Um, with any new trailer purchase, you will get free rock rails as well as rock guards. So the rock rails are the metal rails that go around the bottom of the trailer. They bolt onto the frame and protect the body from impacts on different on rocks or different things that you might uh, face when you are out on the on the road. Um, the rock guards go on the front facing side panel. Front facing side panels. That makes no sense. The <laughs> front the the front, front part panels on the side of the tongue box. Thank you. That's why we keep him around. Um, they just help protect from rock chips and different things. Again, just hazards of the road. Um, that is a thousand dollar value for those two items. We are offering that for free for any new trailer purchase through de December 31st. Um, alternatively, and this offer goes for new orders or um, current orders. We are doing a buy two, get one free on the lifestyle packages for you know anything that's an equal or lesser value or a buy one, get one 50% off. So we really want people to be able to come to Utah, pick up their trailer and hit the road immediately. And these lifestyle packages really allow you to be able to do that without needing to figure out how to bring all, all your stuff with you and then reorganizing it into your trailer once you're here. So let us do the work for you and get you on the road camping sooner. I think that, did I remember all of the things? No, 
Thirty percent off merch. There we go. <laughs> That's why I come in. I forgot. Um, we are also. This is again open to anyone. No restrictions on this. But we are offering thirty percent off anything that is in our Shopify store um, from now through the end of December. And that is another one of the things that Jeremy's team um, manages. They ship everything out and get it to you nice and safe. So hopefully, I think so. He doesn't have much control over the safe delivery part, but we, we do what we can on the, we on got the, the packaging, packaging part. part. <laughs> yeah. After that, who knows? So yeah, like you said, visit our website, check out our shop page. Um, you'll see all the merch in there. We've got great um, camp mugs and French presses that are insulated. No bias, they're my favorite. Um, cool little miniature fire extinguishers, maps, um, rumple blankets, two person, one person, guidebooks, magware, cool stickers. Look at our cool stickers. The hydroscape stick, excuse me, the hydroscape stickers are quite impressive. Yeah. I really like them. Yeah. All right. Shall we get to the Q&A? Yeah, you did it. We did it. That was a long <laughs> intro today, but thanks for bearing with us. Now we're going to answer your questions. Okay, well, the first question that came in is, do we have any options for extra lights on the outside uh, to see a bigger area at night? This is actually really funny that this question came in because we just had, we have, you know, vendors and different manufacturers of different parts reach out to us all the time um, vying for our business. And we just had one send over uh, a larger light. And the question back from engineering was, do customers want a larger light so I guess we know that at least one of you does um, if more of you do please let us know this is something that we uh, haven't actively be, been putting a ton of thought into um, but again we are very much a customer first business so we listen to you guys we want to know what we're missing that you're desiring uh, and when it makes sense then we can pivot to um, to adding things as needed um, so this is one that we will definitely flag and just kind of keep track of over time to see if this is a one-off request. Whoa, oh, Nelly! Seen that one before. We're blown away. Sorry. Our door just blew open. If anyone was wondering, it's hailing in Utah. I don't know where you live, but nice weather. <laughs> I would uh, like to add a little something here on the outside lights. Um, something I've been very impressed with on the Topo Two is the rock rail lights from underneath. Mm -hmm. um, super great feature, you're inside, the switch is inside, you hit them and it illuminates the area, not only on the side of the doors, but out towards the back in the galley area. So if you've got to leave when it's dark out or anything like that, it's a wonderful way to kind of see what's below you. You desert people know what I'm talking about. And um, it just is a way to kind of illuminate it. And let's be honest here, it just looks super cool when you've got some lights hanging out on the bottom of your trail. That's true. Awesome. Next question, do you plan to have a DIY kit um, where you send all needed materials to make your own? I feel like people are eavesdropping. I know, it's a little, a little scary. Um, we don't currently have plans for a DIY kit, uh, though we had a very emotional day last week, and I may or may not have cried more than once, um, because we went into production on the final original Topo series trailer. And um, it was a really bittersweet moment um, that led to a lot of emotions because that trailer has done so much, not only for me as a business owner, but for everyone that works for this organization. And then all of the customers that have an original Topo that get to experience camping with that product. Um, it has allowed us to grow a business and employ 70 people in a small rural town in Utah. Um, and I'll probably cry again if I keep talking, so we'll speed it up here. Um, all of that led me to feel like we need a DIY kit so people can keep making the original Topo. Um, the realities of that, unfortunately, uh, we are, they're probably not great. Um, as much as I would love it and would love for the nostalgia of that product to live on, the way that we build it today requires a lot of tools that people can't uh, access at home. Um, so much of it is cut uh, by a CNC machine and we would have to reconfigure all the things to be able to be built and cut using hand tools and it's just not something as an organization that we can currently prioritize. Um, but it is flagged in my mind and it will sit in my heart for sure, if it is ever possible. <laughs> I, 
I'm waiting. I'm still to go. Um, have you considered, or would it be possible for a couch mode in the top of two? Do you want to answer this one? Yes, I think I do. Um, <laughs> while it is possible, we like to build the best damn camper known to man. And until we can figure out how to get the best damn couch known to man in there, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think uh, this is something that uh, is on the forefront, although it is in our minds. Obviously, we go out and look at our competition and other trailers out there, and they have that. And we've sat in them, and it's definitely been something that's been passed around as a discussion. Um, but I feel that this is something that if we see it, would definitely be in the future when we can incorporate it to an Escapod standard. Um, and right now, it's just uh, not in the cards. Yeah. Um, the, you know, the couch... Every, every decision that you make design-wise when working with such a small space, um, there's always trade-offs for either option. Um, and when you are looking at a trailer in a showroom and it's not filled with stuff and it's not filled with bedding um, and you're not actually out in the middle of nowhere camping, turning the bed into a couch is usually a pretty smooth process gives you a comfortable space, you can do it fairly quickly, you can break it down fairly quickly, but the reality of doing that once you're at camp becomes much more inconvenient. You gotta strip bedding, you gotta figure out what to do with the bedding. Once you pull it off the bedding, you gotta move all your stuff out of the way, then you gotta remake your bed. If it's bad weather and you're trying to do that in a pinch, then you're standing outside, potentially exposed to different weather conditions and then trying to do this um, not to mention the sleeping surface in order for it to fold up typically has some sort of seams in it, uh, which means that the sleeping surface is a bit compromised. Um, we imagine that most people are going to spend more time sleeping in their trailer than they would sitting in their trailer. So we've really optimized a comfortable sleeping space. Um, and that's not to say that we haven't thought about what it would be like to sit in our trailer. And we've designed a really comfortable um, ergonomic angle for our headboard that once you have your pillows in there, it's a really comfortable place to sit. You just aren't able to drop your feet down. Um, and then the other workaround thing that we typically recommend and try to sell to every customer is to get the awning annex room. It's less than $400. It gives you a fully enclosed space. And it's a really great place to set up that camp lounge that we sell. Um, your Dometic table with the, the uh, love seat as well as the bench. If you do want a place to work and you need to be in an enclosed area, you can um, use that annex room. It's a super versatile space. Uh, it's super tall so you can stand up and change clothes and also have a comfortable sitting area for meals or work on the road or whatever else you would want to do. Awesome. We're long winded today. I like it. It's great. Okay. Uh, new colors for 2023. <clears throat> Big question mark. They're definitely eavesdropping. Um, we would love to have all of the colors in the world. I want more colors. Sounds like you want more colors. So we have been talking about additional colors and new colors for 2023 and are kicking around the idea of narrowing in on a few options and then presenting that to our audience um, <clears throat> and empowering you to at least have a say in one of the colors for 2023. Um, we will probably carry over a few of our colors. We're actually going through uh, a paint change right now from an auto grade um, paint to a Raptor liner paint, um, which we're really excited about. And so it does make the tinting process a little bit more manageable. And so it is opening up the doors for us to explore additional color options. Um, so, if there's a color that you're like really pining for, let us know and um, we'll put it in the mix. And yeah, hopefully we'll at least have one new color for 2023 and definitely want to hear from you guys on that one. Does the wheel lock that we recommend on our Amazon storefront work for the upgraded tires on the Taco 2? And we're talking about the chalk style, the mm -hmm. it absolutely does. Uh, and so the one that we recommend, um, having personally used it on our trailers in many different variations, uh, absolutely works. And so it's kind of a universal system. Um, and with the obviously upgrade and a little bit of size uh, tire change, it is not affected. That system will still work. Uh, the way that operates is you basically separate it and it comes in and clamps from the side. Um, and so 
that gives you the option to basically put it on the same way you would in current trailers and it absolutely will work so transfers over it has the same functionality it sets up the same exact way and you would notice no difference no matter which uh, tire option you have on an Escapade. perfect um recommendations on where to stay nearby when we pick up our trailer to test it out for a few days great question um we actually do have a blog on this do we have a blog on this we do have a blog on, we do have a blog on this we will link to it somewhere i'm looking at jess because do we know how to do that on youtube um, we'll link to it on youtube <laughs> so if you're watching us on facebook or instagram you're gonna have to go over to youtube later and we will put the link in there to all things referenced today that's a great way to do it um but yes uh we do we have a blog on this it outlines not only different places to stay but um places that you can eat, activities you can do when you're in town. Um, we give you a few different budget options if you're wanting to just be budget friendly and you wanna stay really close, there is a Best Western, literally a half mile, maybe not even a half mile, quarter mile, right over the highway. Um, or, you know, we're 25 minutes from Park City, there's a ton of options there, it's a great place to vacation. Um, and then we also share, I think, some camping locations. <laughs> Like, I can't remember the, what's in this blog. It's been a while. Um, but there's tons of information in there. So we will link to that. Take a look at it. And then if you do have any more questions after reading that blog or you want more specifics based on a certain um, thing you are trying to achieve or time of year, then reach out to our team um, and we'll, we'll take care of you. Perfect. This one um, might be one that we have to circle back to and maybe provide an email to. <laughs> this question, but off the top of your head, do you know how many powder um, trailers have been ordered with fire doors? Ooh, powder Ooh. with fire? I don't know off the top of my head. I would have to look. Um, Bob, I'll get back to you. <laughs> I'll send you an email with a number. Is Bob, that our Bob? No. Oh. Bob. <laughs> this is Ozzy Bob. Like, Ozzy Bob. Bob. Hi, Bob. <laughs> I will send you an email after this Q&A with the number. Yeah. Uh, figured I'd shoot our shot and see if we could kind of pick their brains a little bit. Yeah, I don't know off the top of my head, but I will say the powder is looking real nice. Mm -hmm. uh, any update on the rear galley step for short people? Uh, no update at this time, sorry. Um, it's still one of the things that is on our list that once our engineers are done with all of the details leading up to production ramp up. So um, that hopefully is gonna be stabilized in the next couple of months, uh, which will free up their resources to really start getting back into product design and looking at those features. So I know that the step is something that people have been asking about and is, is pretty high on the request list. So it'll be in the mix. And once we kind of are able to put resources towards that, we'll be able to give you a better update. Okay, I think that's all of our questions we'll give people another minute 30 seconds ish if they want to submit any last minute questions but do you guys have anything else you'd like to add to today's session if you make us sit here in silence for a minute i'm not going to make you sit in silence it would be very awkward yeah i wouldn't do that I think I could talk for just a second. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, what? I just wanted to uh, expand on the uh, camping nearby or staying nearby. Um, a lot of people want to come in and obviously take advantage of national parks and Utah in general. Um, kind of a sort of expert on the whole Moab and uh, southern Utah area. Um, so when you come in, if you uh, are trying to, you know, see some of our beautiful sites here in Utah, uh, feel free, have your questions ready, and I can definitely tell you places to stay, uh, wonderful spots you can take your escapade and really get the most out of using it, uh, places to eat, and kind of give you an overview of what to expect for parks and off-roading, biking, hiking, and those type of things. Um, we definitely spend a lot of time outdoors here in escapade, uh, and we're more than happy to hand that information off to you as well. Uh, we got some Merry Christmas wishes from Aww. some of our coworkers and customers. So Merry Christmas to all of you. And we also got another question. So we're still here. Woo. We're still fighting to stay on live. <laughs> um, if we're already in the queue and you approve a new color, will we be able to pick a new color if production hasn't started on our trailer? 
Um, if by the time we announce a new color, you have not yet finalized your build, then you will be able to opt into that. Um, but the bodies get started a lot sooner than the full trailer manufacturing that we do here in Colville. Um, so that timeline gets pushed out a little bit. So even if we make the announcement, it's possible that your body and that paint has already kind of been getting underway. Last call for questions. Last call for Jen and Jeremy. <laughs> Thanks for having me on today. Yeah, thanks for joining. That was very fun. We're happy to have the Ray family on our team. So thanks for all you guys do. Thank you. And thank you guys for joining. I know that time is a very precious resource, and we appreciate you spending some of it with us. Happy holidays to everyone. I hope you get to have a nice restful break for as few or many days as your work schedule and school schedule allows. Um, and yeah, make the most of it, enjoy time with loved ones, and hopefully you get to spend some time outdoors.